we thought that there was going to be two rate hikes between now and the year end. Uh, we thought that perhaps uh, it would happen in October instead of September, but clearly I think the bank handle was justified uh, to move in September. The data has been so strong, and I do believe that there's one more in store before the year end. We cannot justify having a rate, uh, an interest rate that is below the U.S. right now, so uh, we will be uh, at... Uh, 1.25 percent, one and a quarter percent before the year end. And how painful is this going to be for consumers? I think the Bank Canada needs to tread very carefully going forward. We are in uncharted territory uh, because of high uh, household debt right now. So uh, every 25 basis points will need to be studied. So I think uh, it's going to be a, a very slow process of normalizing interest rates. Is this going to cause people maybe to lose their homes? Not at this point. I mean, the, the reality is monetary policy is very accommodative, and uh, I don't expect a payment shock for consumers. Uh, you know, people forget that over the past year, mortgage rates kept, kept on coming down, and for the 20% of mortgages that will be refinanced uh, over the next 12 months or so, uh, the mortgage rates is very similar to what people took on their mortgage a year ago. But in Toronto and Vancouver... Is that going to put more pressure on the market? It will put more pressure. That means it will, you're likely to see limited uh, home price increases. It could actually be a small drop in home prices because of the higher mortgage rates. But I think uh, labor market conditions are strong enough to absorb higher interest rates right now in Canada.